Hello Blitz fans of all ages, it's me Plemcastle here with a special video because it is officially the last day of the Snow Globe event. So I want to show you guys what I ended up getting from this. So first things first is just to claim all the previous little rewards that I hadn't done so yet. So now that we've got that out of the way, we can now talk about the last two things. And the top one is the sphere, which you might be able to tell I've actually got enough wins to just get for free. And then we've got the snow globe, which unfortunately I didn't play quite enough games and came about like 90 short. So it would cost about 4,000 gold. So I have a choice. I'm, I'm really not going to even bother with the sphere. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get something better in the snow globe anyway. And all the tanks in there are worth more than 4,000 gold, pretty much. So I'm definitely going to go for the snow globe. So now that I've bought it with the gold, let's go ahead and open it in 3, 2, 1, go. So I'm really rooting for a Smasher or Concept 1B. Really anything. Hopefully it's not an identical tank that I had before. But let's go ahead and see. It's about to open. And the Helsing. Actually, that's... Honestly, a little bit better than I would have expected. I know there are some that aren't quite as good, but of all the things to get in here, the Helsing is actually really good. And for 4,000 gold, that is definitely a huge deal. So I'm actually really happy I got that. Last year, I got, I want to say, the Gravedigger or something, and that's just meh. Uh, but the Helsing, that is one of the... I hear it's like the original OP tank from way back when, and I'm glad to finally have it. And so now let's actually go into a replay so we can kind of see how this thing performs. So this replay is actually an uprising replay. I just wanted to have a bit of fun in this tank to kind of get used to it. And honestly, I am really, really enjoying this tank. Of course, it features those two shells in the gun, and they do fire both at once, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can see that the turret traverse and the uh, hull traverse aren't the greatest, but honestly, the way I play it, it, it doesn't seem to be too, too bad. You are still fairly fast, to be honest, and I find the best way to use this is kind of like this, where you're mid-range, especially using a bush. I mean, that is, it, it can really help a lot. You don't want to be close range. Uh, people tend to YOLO after you, even if you're kind of mid-range, sometimes people will just absolutely YOLO you. And you also don't want to be too far because your two shells become very inaccurate. So this mid-range kind of bush play is actually what I find to be the best. And at mid-range, you actually, at least I found, you don't really miss too, too many shots. I mean, you usually get at least one in, and oftentimes you'll actually get the second. So it's not like total RNG and the second one's like really bad. Uh, far ranges, I definitely miss at least one of them, sometimes both of them. But just this mid-range will definitely help you with your accuracy in this thing because there's not as much of a distance for the shells to disperse too much, which is actually really nice. So... You can see here I'm utilizing this bush. Uh, not a whole lot happening, so I'm actually going to decide to relocate here as soon as there's no enemies that are going to be looking at me. Because like I said, people really like to yellow this for some reason. I had like two games or something like that where people just right out of the gate went after me. But anyway, you can see the tur the whole traverse can be a little bit of a problem, especially if you're in like a close-up skirmish. Uh, but really, as long as you're playing this mid-range and not being too much in the action where people are going to absolutely rush you, it can actually be... It, it's doable. It's not really, really bad or anything. And honestly, I think the tank is fairly strong, and if you were to have it any faster of a turret traverse or anything like that, it might be a little bit more broken. Uh, it's definitely decent. I imagine uh, Smashers and Annihilators will still rank higher than this, but this is just a very fun tank, and I'm actually really happy I got it out of the globe. Just a really nice thing here. So you can see over there, uh, I was actually going to turn on my target, but it, a friendly did it, so I decided to utilize that. There is that M6 over there that respawned after he died, uh, but I'm going to focus this, uh, this Bulldog over here by putting my target on him and using HE, then 14 Realms gets the Ram. I do get a second shot, uh, or get a shot the second time by that M6, so I decided to back up and just tuck into this little area here so I'm not too open. And me and you, uh, sorry, me and 14 Realms clear out that, uh, I don't even know what it was, uh, I think it was a KV-1S. Now there is a tank up there, um, not really wanting to peek out too much just because of my hit points. I mean, I have multiple lives, so I could do it if I really wanted to. And I'm going to try to pre-aim this. I, uh, only one goes in, but... I mean, that's just expected. Sometimes the shell will just not quite go there. Uh, then I come after trying to assist 14 realms, but unfortunately he dies, and then I die as well. So I have the option here to go lightning or ram. 
Uh, I decided to go uh, Ram and Reload just because I prefer DPM as opposed to Alpha Damage in a given burst. So I go for those because I figure I'll probably die again later. And then there is that SU-152 over there, which I'm going to go after. Probably should have turned on my target ability here, but I thought I might be able to clear him. But you can see, not quite. But honestly, he wasn't even really focusing on me that all that much. I mean, I don't even know if he really tried to aim at me. Other than maybe there, but then again, I had I pre-aimed him and he, he was toast. So moving on again, you can see sometimes it, the turret traverse will get in the way of teams a little bit, which is a little bit crazy. Uh, but there we go, got another nice kill on that KV-1S, the same KV-1S actually, so I think I've toasted him a few times. Uh, but there's that M6. Now, I could shoot him once and then likely penetrate the second one because two shots mean I'll at least get one into him but I decided to relocate and get one into his lower plate now I do look up the hill at this point uh, either here or in a few seconds there is the SU so I, I do shoot him but then I look up on the hill there is a guy with Inferno so I don't really want to stick around in this position too long otherwise I could get pushed pretty easily so I come under here and I'm going to get a shot into the lower plate of that V sorry in front of that M6 yet again and again just avoiding that guy up top that could just toast me with that shell he's got loaded there so I take out the SU-152 and at this point we're definitely going to win so I'm thinking at this point it would be a good time to yellow just to get rid of that second life and maybe get a little more damage out just because of my new abilities so I'm going to go ahead and just totally bum rush this guy take out the M6 going to move on to uh, I forget what it was uh Remind me that the tank is that I'm really looking at a small screen, but going after him, uh, again, just yellowing because I figure I've got an extra life, I can do this anyway. I go, and he does uh, shoot that Inferno at me that I had mentioned earlier. Uh, didn't penetrate it, though, so it didn't get as much damage, and you can see I'm really starting to bleed, but honestly, I lived through that engagement despite my huge yellow, and I'm still alive. Now, at this point, I actually don't want to die because then I would be stuck at the opposite end of the map and wouldn't be able to do much and the game would just be over. And of course, I want to keep the game very fun and very active. So uh, being careful, I know that M6 will have respawned at some point. My team, however, is not seeing him. I really don't want to be caught too much in the open. Granted, I am there now, but you can see he gets uh, lit up right behind me and he must have that ability that makes you disappear really fast. So I'm moving over here, figuring he's probably not pre-aiming me so I can usually get a nice uh, shot around the rock here so moving forward there he is I'm fairly confident in fact I'm even going to just check to make sure he's not pre-aiming me which he is not and then I'm going to, going to go ahead and put my target on and actually land both shots for a nice chunk of damage and the team is going to clear him out just before I reload my shell but all in all very decent game very fun really enjoying this tank definitely a mid-range uh, tank like I said just it seems to perform really really well there especially against lower tier tanks it it can kind of get outclassed by a few of the uh, good tier eights and even some of the good tier sevens especially the smasher and annihilator as aforementioned uh, but overall i think it's just a decent tank and if you do get against some tier sixes it can be pretty fun and pretty devastating and so with that hope you all enjoyed and as always have fun good luck and happy tanking